What he was doing was stretching out the heavens. Now, that's what you'll see in your English translations. But if you look at these 11 texts, the actual Hebrew word is the word nata, which means the expansion of what is being described. Now, that had a huge impact on me as a 17-year-old because I recognized that no scientist had even dreamed of the idea of an expanding universe until Albert Einstein produced his theory of general relativity. And George Lemaitre and Edwin Hubble discovered that indeed observations show that the universe is expanding. For thousands of years, the Bible stood alone as the only book of science, philosophy, or theology that declared that we live in an expanding universe. Now, <clears throat> that means that the Bible has predictive power. It's actually predicting future scientific discoveries thousands of years ahead of its time. And as a young man that impressed me, this can't come from a human being. This indeed must be inspired by the one that created the universe. Now, I've written an entire book, The Creator and the Cosmos, where I lay out the evidence that we live in a continually expanding universe.